Collings Foundation was started in the late 70s as an educational foundation. And during the 80s, they got into the aviation world and started acquiring World War II aircraft. And the idea was to tour around primary airplanes from World War II on the 50th anniversary of World War II, 1989 through 1995. And late in the middle 90s, they started giving rides in the airplanes and the popularity was such that they decided to keep it going. So instead of doing just those years and retiring the airplanes, we're 25 years into touring the aircraft. And on average, we do about 110 cities in 38 states. And we have a B-24 Liberator, which is the last one flying out of 18,000 built. We have a B-17 Flying Fortress, which is one of about six still flying. And we have a P-51C, which is the only dual control P-51C ever. So it's a, all three of them have their own unique little qualities. And uh, we're trying to tell the story of World War II and keep it, uh, keep it going for the veterans that are still with us. And uh, the families of veterans and younger generations, just so we don't forget. First of all, flying these aircraft is a huge honor. Um, it's not, a, not something that we take lightly, and we appreciate their history and, and what they did for our country, and the sacrifices that the men and women that operated them and built them. And uh, they have their own personalities. They're great flying airplanes. They were built for kids with 250 hours in their logbook. And they're very simple, uh, very straightforward airplanes to fly. And uh, it, it, just like then, our mission is to uh, get the job done, and they're still doing it. And uh, they're built tough, they run every day, and they rarely break, so they're great airplanes.